five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. I've got a day off tomorrow, so I thought I'd do a little spontaneous adventure and go and pick up this CC Valiant Ute that I got my hands on a couple of weeks ago. I was going to go tomorrow morning nice and early. It's about, I don't know, 450 kilometres there. And, and I figured, well, that's an early start to do it in one day. So I raced home from work quickly chuck my trailer on, got a change of clothes and jump in my car to go out west and get this thing. So anyway, we're on the road, we're heading west, we're heading towards the sun. I'm not going to do the whole trip this evening because it's just going to get too late. So I've booked a little room at Golgong. I'm going to stay there tonight, get up nice and early, we'll go and chuck the VC on the back and then we'll head on home and hopefully we'll be home back in Sydney in a decent hour. So we've got about 150 k's to travel this morning. We're going to stop for fuel and breakfast at Dunny Do, and we'll hit Hill Gandra. I'm kind of thinking around eight o'clock. There's no rush, so we'll see you when we get there. shortly I just got to get the um, latches working on the tailgate so it stays closed they're just rusted open so we'll sort that out 
get my receipt so I can register it and uh, I'll get out of here. Well, we're on and we're heading home. She's on the back. About 450 k's. That all went pretty smoothly. What's the time now? 10 o'clock. Had a coffee, good old chinware. So I reckon we'll probably be home about 3 in the afternoon. So the plans for this thing is um, I want it to look like Grandpa's youth. Not that my grandpa had one that I'm aware of. My grandpa in Australia had an EH Holden sedan. But that's a story for another day. Yeah, so I just want to make it look like Grandpa's Ute. I'm going to leave the outside of it original. I'll clean up the paintwork, just give it a buff and a shine. Um, repair the rust. Probably put a new tailgate skin on there. And um, a tarpaulin. Get the seat repaired. Carpet. Clean it all up get it running nice and obviously get it registered mechanically wise um, I think it's a good thing I could just leave it as it is but really the sky's the limit with it and I've had a few ideas I'm not sure which way to go yet you know what I'll probably just get it registered for now as a stocker and we'll go from there it's gonna be a fun little unit about to hit the highway I'm gonna get off this um, dirt track and um, let's head on home Well, made it home all right. I've got some good ideas. Stay tuned for it. I'll take you through the whole process. Really, this car would have been one of those awesome cars to go to the property, get it running, drive it home. But a couple of things, I don't have the time. And New South Wales road rules, legislation for motor vehicles is pretty strict. So it's not as if I could just bung it together legally. So, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to put other road users at risk. So yeah, I'll do that one day. This would have been perfect, but yeah, I'd need, a few days to at least get it right, get it registered or get a permit and then bring it back. But anyway, we'll do it one day. But we'll do it here. We'll get it all sorted here and she'll be nice. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a little road trip with me. Cheers.